Yeah. It's the world. It's the world, Mosaic. It's the world, Mosaic. What I look like? Stupid. What I look like? A fat cop. I got like, my correction like, officer's outfit on. You definitely on. look like a CO. It's That's given. That's right. You know, Friday, you know, Ross went at me for what, like 10, 12 hours. I could tell he was rattled. I could tell something was wrong, so I wore this today to make him feel a little more comfortable. So if you don't know what's going on, Ross, uh, he, get a little, he got a little upset over the weekend because I said he Airbnbs his crib, which is true. That's what he does. Coming to America, they airbnb his crib. Yeah. It's not an Airbnb. Eddie man. Murphy man milked all on his bed, yes. you know. The cast crazy. of Boomerang, because they shot Boomerang at his crib. They, you know, yeah. the cast, you know, man milked on his bed. So he responded, and this is, he responded and said this. I just told the people was coming to clean up my pool to hold on. Because I said Envy and his seven sons could come over here. Y'all could handle this pool for the pool party July 2nd. DJ Envious, you just started a pool cleaning service. Cause you got a job, you work. That's why I'm kind of confused. You're talking to a boss and you got a job that you got to report to. Don't get fired by that white man. And I'm inviting to the car show and the pool party. He has a boss too. Mm -hmm. John Venata is his boss. Mm -hmm. Who's John Venata? That's the Miami warden, the correctional facility warden. That is his boss. Mm -hmm. No, that stop. is the truth. You that is stop. the oh, truth. That's Rick Ross' boss. That's Rick Ross' boss. Stop. Rick Ross oh still gets God. a pension. You're going too far from the corrections. He yeah. does oh absolutely. He still gets a pension. You started off as a football player. They kicked you off the team because you would stand by the showers and watch the boys take a shower. Chopper jacks. Then you moved to corrections. And what did you do? You watched the boys take a shower. That's what you did. You said another boy, so you wanted another one. <laughs> and then another one. And then another one. And then they asked you about it, and this is what you said. What made you want to do that? One of my big homies. One of my big homies had just got in trouble, and a lot of people, a lot of things were going on. Stop. And he just suggested it. Jesse. Shut up. Jesse. You think I'm big, bitch? No, your officer, Ricky. <laughs> I think I'm Larry Hoover. No, your officer, Ricky. It's the biggest boss, June 3rd. I'm providing jobs. DJ Envious, I got a job for your girlfriend. It's a one-time opportunity. Your girlfriend has the opportunity to be my pickleball paddle polisher. My pickleball paddle polisher. You hear me? Let her know why they cleaning the pools. DJ Envious, Envious. I know you still at work on the Charlemagne breakfast show, but when you get off work, Envious. This is swimming pool number two. And guess what I want this time? I want you and your boys to come out and I want you to set up a DJ booth and I want your boys to break dance all over here. And I want them to break dance to the Beastie Boys, License to Eel, Brass Monkey. That's what we gonna call you. DJ Envious, AKA Brass Monkey. The swimming pool number two, Envious. And I didn't get mine like you got yours. I didn't sue because somebody attacked my daughter. You sue, we hustle. But Envious. I'm like a, a, a Walt Disney of Florida, but look, after y'all clean this pool, Envious, look, your boys, man, they get to slide down. Man, look at the palm trees. Look at the sun, man, the clouds, the alkaline water. Come on, Envious. I'm gonna let your son stand at the top for once. I'm gonna let him be at the top. Now, I know this ain't in DJ Envy book. I might help you sell some books, but your, your girlfriend faked the orgasm for two decades? Oh, she needs a motherfucking paddle. Tell her I got her. I got her. She can't fake with the biggest boss. Yeah. My pickleball paddle pop. Don't wash. No, no, no. Don't call nobody to wash the car. I got the KC's cleaning service. Envious. The pickleball paddle polisher. Hen. Woo! Boy, the kit costs more than your cup, boy. Come on, boy. All right, so look, I just got word the beige boy turning orange. So I'm gonna do some boss shit. 
I'm inviting envious to the Ricky Rose car show. And I see how close you and Curtis is on the last picture. And if Curtis want to wear tight jeans, I'm, you welcome too to come to the Ricky Rose car show. You hear me? I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? And I'm sure you know this. You getting the invitation only because I need the KC cleaning service to handle all my whips. Only under one condition, baby. Slippery soap only. So, it's all love. Casey's got another opportunity. I'm showing love. That guy that's gonna charge somebody $500 to get him because I couldn't sleep with myself. There you go, bring it back in, there you go. So tell you this, you gotta, you, you, everybody gotta watch who does stuff for the community and who does stuff to make money. I tell people all the time, if you got a habit or you got something that you love, you make it a business. That's why the car thing and the car show became a business. I like cars, I love cars. I'll tell you this, you gotta, you, you, everybody gotta watch who does stuff for the community and who does stuff to make money. Yeah, shout out to Caesar, man. Shout out to Caesar, man. Shout out to Caesar, man. Shout out to Caesar, man.